Likely. Last pick, of course, is Jaime. So they leave it all the way to the end there for Gadget. So it's not the standard ADC. I called for the Varus, but it is a very similar champion of what his job is going to be. the turrets with. and then using the Blast Cone over the wall into the Dragon Pit. This guy is a Heimer master. Yeah, it certainly wasn't his, like, one of the first five Heimer games. Just seeing what happened there. No, certainly first time Heimer, no guys. way around the champion. Landed. And now six just forces himself back to the blue side jungle. And that's the key thing. And it's because of the wave pressure that Big Coro and Pallet have. Now Ooh, they are. Oh my god, Heimer. Trading back a lot. I thought the hook was good from Pallet, but loses the trade in epic fashion. Okay, so it was really good until that moment. Pallet's going to hopefully walk it off, but losing your flash will certainly hurt. But it's just like you're saying, the fact that Olaf went cross map across mid lane. They're going for it. Stun land in. I can come up. Prox Pallet looks to be on the main. Oh! But first blood, but Big Coro finds the explosion takes down the support, and that's First Blood PvP! It felt like both teams didn't really know how much damage they're gonna here, do. Just try to farm up on these creeps as the waves are constantly crashing into them. Another good hook there for Pallet. Gadget though does have the ulti ready. Big Korok charging in with a killer instinct. Flashes forward, grabs the kill, and now it's Santas that's in trouble. Pallet hits six, he pops the depth charge, and Santas, it's goodbye and a double kill for the biggest of Koros! The immediate burst damage that came out there, the fact that Big Koro didn't hesitate. Showing know what they can get done, and of course Gadget certainly had a struggle versus the Flash Rules, but hold that thought. As Nana is ganking top, flash on Barrow there, knock up is gonna land and now the sun falls in. Q is easy stop and here's Meliod is gonna try and get a counter kill. 1v2, pops the ulti there on the Olaf and Boss just gonna run away to a, uh, a minion now has to be careful about getting dove himself. No flash available for Anana 6 so it would be a little bit harder to execute but we'll see if Meliodas just walks up. Chilling Smite, forcing the flash, there's the ulti out. Meliodas looking to get go down and there's Boss finds the second kill. Just frankly greed for Meliodas. For Meliodas. Right yeah, and you know, maybe he gets a hold of Boss, he's able to turn that one around. Now Five mid. to No Man's, forced to flash away, but there's the follow killer instinct again from Big Koro, although it's Noel that gets the credit. Big Koro is unlocked and ready, assisting with dives like that, but unfortunately just hasn't found the same traction that Pallet has. Decent block there, using the turret. Now a TP coming in from Vega. Pallet gonna be the target. Ignited by Santos, his boss. The big strong member is gonna try and get himself a gear. Nautilus, close but not there. Gadget though finds the missiles. Now a 2v3, make it 4v3. As the rest of PvP have made their way down. Santos channeling the W to try and buy some time. There's the Vanguard dead from boss, but it won't delay the death of Gadget. Now the dive coming out. Not gonna follow just yet, but have to be careful here for Aurelia. But again, Big Coro picking up more of these kills, now 4-0 on the Kaiser. Buffer up about 2,000 gold. Zeros will extend that lead as they actually take the turret lead for the first time this game as he finishes that off. And also, boss, don't know what you're doing there, but that's an easy pick oh, off. Oh, Santa's completed that, now forced to flash away. Zeros gonna come in and try and change the play. Olaf already popped the Ragnarok, but Zeros there with a the flanking jet, an absolutely massive accelerated shot blast. Make sure Gadget's demise is felt. And now Ananasik knock back Big Koro, finds the ulti there in, and that's gonna be yet Big Koro, finds the ulti there in, and that's gonna be yet another kill. In fact, make it almost an ace, it's just Santa's that survives. And the devastating thing is that they... 10 for the Infernal. And uh, Vegas Squadron, very bold farming in their own jungle here, to be honest. Pal gonna try and start the fight up again at Santa's, that's rooted there by the passive. Redemption goes down, Depth Charge is gonna be stasis down. Boss there on the run with a good bank on Zed. Zero Star in a Rampage, takes down another sick. No Man's not able to get a trade kill, but Nor finds another as Gadget goes down. PVB blinking low, but not dead. They will get a trade, but a shutdown and an ace across the board for the Fong Vu Buffalo. Just absolutely obliterated right there. Big Coral with the confidence that he ults into the middle of all of that. going too far after this. Looks like they will back off. Timers are still a I little long. Maybe not to do, but now they have a... No, they don't even have a man advantage. They're going to start this Infernal, though, and Hongu Buffalo are going to make them pay. Zeros already with a massive Shock Blast. Get it at 50% health. Shockwave finds two, and Anasik dead. Can't take the Drake now. Vega, what are you doing there? Ah, uh, trying to fight from the back foot. You know, it's full town advantage. Uh, the fact that this is maybe a stylistic mismatch, a very fast. He was trying to... I actually think he was trying to assassinate Big Koro. He had uh, a Nana Six behind him. Speaking of that... Boss is going to get 1v1 by Zeros. Top lane matchup, which looked good when Boss was 2-0-1. Is now certainly not Stop that. watch. Probably didn't mean to do that, but... All three and hit the doubt. Baron is going to wear off. Beautifully timed as... Oh, no. walk. On to no man, see you later. Big Koro gonna grab himself a kill. No, he gets the inhib. That's Nor that picked up credit. Not sure it matters too much now, though. 5v4, everyone dying. That's a double kill for Nor. Big Koro picks up another. On to Zerus, they will get the kill. They go just trying to collect what they can before they wrap up their keyboards for game two, because Nor gonna grab the triple. That's gonna be an ace in the base. Nexus turrets and the Nexus will fall down as the Fong Vu Buffalo blitz through Vega in game number one. Felt like it was a fight fire with fire, everything. There was so much action across the map in the early game, but that just did not play into Vegas playstyle. I think.